Hi, Ben here and welcome back to the workshop for another Work in Progress Wednesday. And what we're working on today is we're finishing off some of our little trekker knives. So what I've done is I've got these prepared. They've been uh, heat treated, obviously. We've got our nice stone wash finish on there and I've got the final grinds on there. They're not honed yet, but they've got the final grinds ready for that. And what I do next is I actually add the cord wrap to the handles. So the trekkers themselves have got this sort of what we call skeletonized style handle, so a big cutout in the handle. So you don't necessarily need the cord on there, you can use it without. But the idea behind it is that you've got a small, lightweight little companion blade that you can hang around your neck, but you've also got a good length of cord on the knife. So if you're out in the field and you need to either make an emergency shelter or you need a bit of cord for doing a, a bow drill kit, you can unwind that cord and you've got a really useful length of cord with you. So we've got our typical trekker knife. This is the smaller style. So this has got a two and a quarter inch style blade and a slightly smaller handle, almost like a sort of three finger style handle, so not a full size handle. And then people asked us if we could make a sort of scaled up version of it. So this is the slightly larger trekker. This is the three inch trekker. So obviously a, a larger blade and a more full size handle. So it actually makes really comfortable grip. Um, like I say, it's a very useful lightweight knife. We even add a little bit of checkering on the back there, so if you're using it for sort of push cuts and stuff, you've got a good deal of grip. But uh, some people have asked us, obviously, when they get the knife, it's wrapped in the cord. If they do take the cord off in the field, sometimes they get a little bit confused how to put it back on. So we thought we'd show you how we actually go about wrapping them. So I'll take one of these. We'll take one of these three inch trekkers and we'll pop it in the vise. It helps if you can use both, both hands. So hold it in the vise. These have got soft jaws on there, so they're not going to mark the blade. And then what colour should we go for? I think we're going to go for a bit of multicam paracord. And this is the 550 paracord, so you can't quite see it anymore because I've sealed the ends, but you've got those thin white strands inside. So if you are out and about, you could actually strip this down and pull all those inners out, and that can make your snares or your fishing line and things like that. So on this one, on the three in, uh, on the three inch trekker, you've got about a meter and a half of cord, so you've got a good, good length of cord there. So first of all, what we do is we pass it through that hole at the very front of the handle. And then basically we want to find the middle of the cord, so hold the two ends together, find the middle of the cord, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pass it right through the middle of the handle to start. And then we're going to kind of come in front of that slight finger choil there lay the first wrap in there and then we're going to do like a figure of eight so pass it back through the gap in the handle and then come up to the top and when you lay the cords try and make sure that they lay nice and flat and parallel to each other not sort of twisted because it will become uncomfortable so keep them nice and tight and flat and you can just continue wrapping and keep squadging it up so you get a nice tight tight grip and you're just doing figure of eights Obviously this isn't the only way you could do it, but it's just the way that I find that it makes a really nice comfortable handle. Now, some people when they do cord wrapped handles, when they finish wrapping it, they will cover the whole handle and the whole cord in clear epoxy, so it sets rock hard and becomes a foot sort of permanent handle. But obviously if we did that to this, you wouldn't be able to take off the paracord and use that as a sort of survival aid, so it's uh, a removable handle. And the other option that it gives you is you can, if you wanted to, if you've got some small survival kit, like some maybe a little tube, and you could put some matches in there, maybe some fishing hooks or something like that. So you've got the option of actually being able to trap extra survival kit within that cord wrap. And then as we get near the back end of the handle, you've just got to make sure that you keep scrunching it up to try and get as many wraps in as possible. See how by just pushing it like that, I managed to get an extra bit of space. And what I can do is I can pull the cord forward so that the gap gets bigger so it makes it easier to pass through. You can see why I wanted to put it in the vise though. If you haven't got two hands to actually manipulate the cord it can get a little bit tricky really. Pass that last one through there. Make sure that lays nice and flat. So we've got that final pass through 
and then to finish it off I mean that would hold itself anyway just from the tension of the cord but I like to just pass those last two ends just through what would be the uh, lanyard tube if it was on a conventional knife make that a bit neater and then we'll just finish that off I just use a simple overhand knot just so that it stops it unraveling so pass it back through and again try and make all the sort of the cords lay nice and neatly and then it makes it look nice and it makes it just feel a bit nicer in the hand as well obviously if you're good at knots you could finish that off with a sort of blood knot or something like that but a simple overhand knot seems to work and then I'll just trim these just a little bit shorter still give a, a long tail because that actually helps you when you're drawing it out of the kydex sheath and things like that so there you go so you can see that it adds quite a nice little bit of thickness to the handle so it makes it a little bit more comfortable in the hand obviously gives you that useful cord but the main thing is it doesn't add too much weight to the trekker the trekker itself is designed to be a very nice lightweight knife obviously with a kydex sheath that you can wear around your neck when you're on the trail for a bit of food prep and a bit of uh, craft work so obviously we're trying to keep it as lightweight as possible so hopefully that will help all those people that have either got a trekker or thinking about getting a trekker knife obviously if you want to take the cord off then it's a nice way to actually know how to put it on again as it comes from us so i'm going to do the kydex sheaths now so i'll go through my kydex box and try and pick a funky bit of kydex to match the cord maybe some striking sort of hunter orange or maybe even go for some multicam i'm never sure until i actually look through the box but hopefully you've enjoyed seeing what we've been working on this wednesday We'll hopefully have a couple of these on the store later on, so follow the link if you want to actually purchase one of these trekkers. And yeah, tune in next week and see what we've been working on next Wednesday. Thanks again for watching.